Ron Paul, if you had been president, which you could have been, you ran for office this time and you, you could have won. If you had been president, are you in all that you all of this tracking of data in the way that the NSA has been doing it? An, an awful lot of it, but it wouldn't be stopped. You would still have your you would you, you would still have your transparency. I mean, you'd still have your uh, intelligence gathering, but it would be done under the law. You would have probable cause and you would have courts. This idea that you can go to the FISA court and get a warrant, that's ridiculous. That's like the monitoring of the president say, oh, well, we're going to pick and choose who we're going to assassinate, American citizen or not. But we have monitors. We're going to study this. That's the rule of law. What he's doing is repealing the Magna Carta. You can't just do these kind of things. And this one is not only repealing the principles of liberty, but it's, uh, it's destroying the Constitution. So my question should be to all of you who defend this nonsense is, what should the penalty be for the people who destroy the Constitution? They're always worried about how they're going to destroy the American citizens who tell the truth to let us know what's going on. But we ask the question, what is the penalty for the people who deliberately destroy the Constitution and rationalize and say, oh, we have to do it for security? Well, you know what Franklin said about that. You end up losing, you lose your uh, security and you lose your freedoms too. So I think we've embarked on a very, very dangerous course. The American people are with us on this. It's totally out of control. And I would say if you're, if you're confused about what we should do, just read the Constitution. What's wrong with that? Well, you know, I that just, gives I a just pretty did, good guideline. If you don't in, like it, get I, people, get people, get people to get people to repeal it and change the Constitution, but not just to deny it. I mean, we go to war without a declaration. We totally ignore the Constitution. That is what our problem is today. We have no rule of law, and people say, "Well, just let secret courts do this," and the government's to know everything, and the American people are to have no privacy. I mean, you're, that, that reflects an intimidation. People are insecure and think that we okay. need more authoritarianism. You're justifying dictatorship Paul, is to, what you're doing. I have to leave you there in full flow. Uh, it's a fascinating debate.